welcome back to my party <laughs> party of acrylic uh, I can't even say it. party of acrylic skin using to pretty much uplift and make an artwork that I've used for mostly ink pouring just to make it a less flat and a lot more interesting uh, pouring medium which can vary from flowtrol to PVA glue to I don't know there's tons of stuff out there so yeah that's a little insight today I've got this really really hideous <laughs> circle drawing that I did I think in the first few weeks of actually setting up my YouTube channel I don't know what was going through my head I thought this was good at the time I think it's because the idea before was a lot more worse so this needs some definite fixing like the composition is okay but I just think if it has a couple more layers and something to add to it it can improve a lot and it would just be a lot more interesting to stare at and not be more humiliating to hide away by ish <laughs> anyway so these are a couple of the skins obviously because this is blue I want to blue is one of the more prominent colors I do use in acrylic pouring just because well you can put a little bit of blue in and it can actually take over the composition because I think it's actually quite a lot lighter in pigment so it obviously rises to the top and mixes really well with other colours compared to you know compared to like the white the black the black's sort of in the middle red tends to sink a little bit but, all, but, but also the yellow tends to sit at the top as well and also gets a bit too friendly with the blue but anyway that aside there is this really nice like skin here can you see that I hope the lighting's all right like I do like the idea of using this but I feel like it might be a bit too blocky so maybe we should just break up some of the parts yeah, I've got quite a lot of blue I don't know if I want to use it mm. not sure yet I do have this red but it's a very big chunk of red so I don't quite know if it will go well. Obviously I can cut bits off. So this is the famous red I've been talking about for the last minute and a half. <laughs> so I'm just going to take these off. Oh that's really nice. PVA glue I'm using is just a PVA bond from Everbuild, I think it's called. It does say on the label, but like there's like five different words on the label on like the front section. So I don't actually know what actually is the title. I'm gonna guess Everbuild just because it has a little like logo next to it. So the bits that are outside the circle, I actually will go around and cut them off with a scalpel. In my terms, a, a broken scalpel. <laughs> and because I have this rule, I like to have things inside of a circle for ink. That's probably the most rubbish circle ever, but you have to do. Yeah, definitely most of a rubbish circle. <laughs> That's fine. I can put, add something there just to cover it up a little bit. So, already looking a lot better. Kind of getting slightly confused with where the actual line is because... When you look, you see like a golden line and you see this other pen line as well. I to say. I'll just, I'll sort that out, don't worry. <laughs> okay, yeah, I want to add a strip. I feel like, like a dark colour needs to come down this side. 
Hmm, it actually works. Kind of reminds me of a guy holding, I don't know, a giant tadpole <laughs> of all things to say. Yeah, I feel like the guy with the giant tadpole can stay there. Sometimes, like, I do a lot of acrylic pouring, and I'd say about 80% go right, and the other 20%, 99% of the time, if the actual pour has not gone as well as I thought, the payoff, as in the acrylic that comes off the board, actually turns out a lot more interesting than the actual acrylic painting itself so if that does happen to you where like if you do do acrylic pouring and you will now and again get some acrylic pours where either the bit that you really liked ran off the side and said goodbye or just didn't turn out very well if you look at the, the kind of payoff it might actually be a lot more interesting than the piece so I would like that's why I, I tend to keep my skins you always get something out of acrylic pouring even if it's just skins this gold circle is really really annoying me I don't like it at all okay I feel like one more thing needs to be added just to bring it up. I feel like yellow. Like a nice fiery yellow. Like that. Oh my god, do you know what this looks like? Obviously I said about the man's tadpole, that kind of looks like a flaming cactus and that's kind of like a something shooting up into the air. How strange is my brain. <laughs> do you see, do you, any of you see anything in this or is it just me? Me and my flaming cactus. I just thought as well, like, this bit down here that's been cut off, it actually has the date and a signature, so technically I have already signed this. Okay. Just going to, as usual, cut around the circle. I feel like for this... I really want to cut out the actual circle itself and get rid of the gold because I feel like that's the only way forward for me <laughs> for this piece. Like even though I have added these acrylic like skins and it has it does look a lot better I think in terms of composition and like balance. The gold circle is just putting me off a lot and I really think it could be improved if I just cut it out. Simple as. Anyway, what do you guys think? As always, give this video a like if you enjoyed it. I quite like these videos. You kind of just sit down and talk and I'm not running around collecting materials like I am doing a lot with all the other art materials. I'm just sat down chilling and just talking and it's kind of like a nice conversation. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, give this video a like. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed and I shall see you guys next time for my next video. Bye!